Hey YouTubers, let's have us a Bible study. I have my King James, the only one. Let's look at the word zeal. Z-E-A-L. Let's go to 2 Samuel. If I can find it. 2 Samuel 21. And we want verse 2. And the king called the Gideonites and said unto them, Now the Gideonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the raiment of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had shown unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Let's go to Second Kings. And we want 10 and 16. And he said, Come with me and see my zeal for the Lord. So they made him ride in his chariot. Let's go to 19, same book. And 31. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a raiment, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall do this. Let's go to Psalms. And we want 69. Ooh, I hit that right on it. 69 and 9. For the zeal of thine house hath eaten me up, and the reproach of them that reproach thee are fallen upon me. That's in the same book, let's go to 119. 119 and 139. My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten thy word. Let's go to Isaiah. And we want 9. Isaiah 9. And we want 7. Of the increase of the government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth, even, even and ever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So this is telling me that David's people or his relations are still here doing their job. Hmm. I could tell you who they are. It's in England. And they have the, um, what do you call it, the paperwork or whatever on the King James Version and they cannot change it. They can't do anything with it. Do some bright background on that. That is a that it's good to know that nobody can mess with the King James Version. Let's go to Isaiah 37. And believe it or not, I just learned that here recently. And we want 32. For out of Jerusalem shall go forth a raiment, and they that escape out of Mount Zion, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Let's go to 59, same book, Isaiah, and we want 17. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate, and a helmet of salvation upon his head, and he put on his garment of vengeance for clothing, and was chad, chad, c-l-a-d, chad, with zeal as a cloak. Let's go to 63. Same book. 15. Look down from heaven. And behold. From the inhabitation of thy holiness. And of thy glory. Where is the zeal and the strength. The sounding of the, thy bowels. And of thy mercies towards me. They are restrained. Let's go to Ezekiel, and we want 5, 
Ezekiel 5 and 13. Thus shall mine anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them, and I will be comforted, and they shall know that the Lord has spoken it in my zeal, when I have accomplished my fury in them. So let's go to John, and we want 2 and 17. And his disciples remember that it was written, The zeal of thine house hath eaten me up. I think we read that one too, didn't we? So let's go to Romans. And we want two. Romans two. No, that's Romans ten. Excuse me. Can't read my own writing. Romans ten and two. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. Let's go to Second Corinthians. And we want 7 and 11. 7 and 11, you gush. For behold, this self, uh, self same thing that ye sorrowed after a godly sword, that carefulness it wrought in you, yea, that cleaning of yourself, yea, that indignation, yea, that fear, what fear, yea, what the uh, vehement desire, yea, what zeal, yea, what revenge in all things you have reproached yourself to be clear in this matter all right let's go to nine same book second corinthians and we want two for i know the fullness of your mind for which i boast of you to them of more of macedonia that archa a c h a i a was ready a year ago, and your zeal had provoked very many. Let's go to Philippians, and we want three and six concerning concerning zeal. Persecute the the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law blameless. Let's go to Colossians, and we want 4 and 13. For I bear him record that he hath a great zeal for you, and that and them that are in Lucidia, Lucidia and them in Hierapolis, H-I-E-R-A-P-O-L-I-S. I know I don't have an education, but we get the message across. I hope. Okay, I look at my concordance. A zeal is seven o six five, seven o six eight, and in the New Testament two two o five, which is jealous in the sake, adhored in an unfavorable one. As a husband or an enemy, malice, ferment mind, indignation. All right, YouTubers, I hope this helped you. I love you. Bye.